Don't be shy, cause I, the life won't bring you down too far. Oscar Bevis, Rafael TV in association with MTK Global here in Rotherham, Leeds, Barnsley Way. Somewhere, but we're in holiday and we're in the MTK fight bubble, joined by Ryan Walker and Mickey Amu. How are we, boys? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, man. Ready. Ready. Yeah, yeah, all good, all good. The work's been done, you know what I mean? It's the final touches now, so we just done a way in as well, so everything's done. More than ready. This was... I suppose you could say a fight built on social media. It was a bit strange. I saw an interaction, obviously, you saying to Sonny that... You felt he was ducking you when you offered him offered him out. The whole Superfly Bantam thing come along. Lee McGregor and Sonny get on well. Let's take it to Bantam. Blessing and a curse social media. But I worked this time. You got the fight. Yeah, I mean, it's a big fight. I mean, originally I was trying to get Sonny Edwards. He didn't want to fight me. He avoided me. And then Lee McGregor popped up. And then I said, yeah, I'll take that. So I'm here to fight anyone on my weight. So he's my weight, so I'll take him. I need the champion. They didn't want to put the titles on the line for this fight, but that's no problem. Or we match him for the title. Once we beat him, we'll get the title for it. When you're involved with a fighter and you see this sort of stuff online, do you sit there and go, "I'm a fan of that," or do you sit there and go, oh, "Shut up"? It, it depends. Listen, I think I think it's it's it, you got both sides of it. You know what I mean? Sometimes it can be seen to be going too far, but I think Ryan, the way he dealt with it and handled it, I thought I was over the moon with it. You know what I mean? Sonny Edwards, I don't actually know what the personal beef is, but I was keeping up with some of the. Uh, Conversation, some of the comments, and Sonny for me, he lost his heads, you know what I mean? He lost composure, he started acting silly, you know what I mean? He went, he acted stupid about it, but that's him, yes, you know what I mean? He obviously got his back up over something. But Ryan, I, like I said, I'm happy the way he composed himself. As, if I'm training a fight, if I felt that he was acting stupid on social media, I'll pull him up and say, listen, you're going too far with it, you know what I mean? But at the same time, if you're building a fight for yourself, then it's good business, isn't it? Mm. Talking of the weight situation, we nearly had to see you uh, in the buff there. What happened? You come up and you was like, yeah, can I have the towel? Jumped on the scales and you was fine. No, I, I made it easy. I made, I mean, my last fight was at Super Bantam. Whip it out, I'm telling you. Yeah, no, I, I fought at Super Bantam for a long time. And my last Southern Area title fight, what, which one? That was Super Bantam. So I don't have no problems making weight. But yeah. I just went to make sure that I was on weight. So yeah, man. So we, come, we got there. We come down and checked just before it was bang on 122. Bang on 122. So um, obviously, you come back there. That was about 20 minutes. You know, your body's gonna, still going to dry out a little bit. Make, but obviously, you just didn't want to get on the scales and have to jump back off and do all that process. So I think better safe than sorry with that one. And the best thing about it as well, I was able to drink and eat a little bit in the morning as well. So there was no... I didn't have to kill myself to make weight. I didn't have to wear sweatsuits and all of that. I just made it naturally. And I've been eating healthy and everything's all good. So... I'm ready, man. I've already seen a lot of Ryan, so I'm glad he didn't have to strip down and get naked. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, we didn't have to see that then, yeah. Um, what do you make of Lee? Obviously, he's been promoted well. He had the big Scottish dust up with Cash Farouk. Um, and obviously, that, in some people's eyes, was a controversial decision. So that adds yeah, more that. to the profile of Ryan. You, yeah, you just yeah. told me you've lost it. So just yeah. tell me what you think of Ryan. you feel like he lost the Cash fight? Yeah, he definitely lost that fight. And... I'm the same kind of height, same kind of built as Cash Farouk. I'm a bit stronger, but that was a good fight. So I don't take no, nothing off him, but I'm here to win as well. So it's going to be hard for him. It's going to be a, definitely a hard fight for him. So I just make sure he's, I want to get the best Lee McGregor. I want him to be ready. I don't want no easy fight. This is what I'm in there for. The hard, tough fights. I mean, he's number one in the country. He's British and Commonwealth champion. So I'm sure you don't get that for no reason. But right now it's my time. So we'll see what happens on that. I saw that actually you said, I want the 100% Lee McGregor. You said to me yesterday, he's going to get the 100% Lee McGregor. Is that to prove a point to yourself as well and say, look, if I'm going to yeah. step up and fight someone like Lee, and if I beat him and he's 70%, not that there's questions there, but if you beat 100% Lee McGregor, then you're right in there. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I want. I don't want no easy fights. I mean, I've had journeymen in my easy fights and I've gone through the early stages. This is what my 13th fight now. So I don't need to go in them little petty, petty fights. I mean, I'm here to fight the best, like I just said. So that's what I'm getting. So after this, we're going to see where I'm really at. And hopefully after this, we're going to focus on the bigger things as well. 
I think as well, this is a boxing, this is a, a hard sport, it's a ruthless sport. And obviously, the last thing you want to do is come out of the ring and have your opponent say, oh, but this happened beforehand, that happened beforehand, and make uh, any reasons or excuses to take away from what you've just done, you know what I mean? So I see the interview, and the fact that um, Lee McGregor said he's 100% is, is, is what you want to hear. You know, Ryan's 100%, we've had a perfect camp, everything's gone smooth, there's no excuses on our behalf. He said the same thing, and that's, that's what you want. You want to see the best from both guys. You want, so you want the best fight. This is the, the, this is the business we're in, you know what I mean? It's the entertainment business. We want to see a cracking fight. We want to see them both at the best of their ability and obviously make the best man win. I mean, come on, you see me at the way and I'm in shape. I mean, it's been locked down, but I've been training for the whole lockdown. I didn't know if this fight was going to happen, and it's happened. So I'm, I'm just grateful for it still. It's come at the right time for me. Couldn't it be a better time? So it looks like you've been training for like three years. Shape you're in, it is, it is, it's, no, I know, I know, it's, all right, 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 no, but we ready, man, no, seriously, on a serious note, I stay in the gym, and I make sure I put 100% into everything, and this is my biggest fight of my career, so, I make sure that I'm ready, like, I'm making sure that I win, I make sure that I look good, I know it's going to be hard as well, this is on his show, his home turf, everything is in, all in his favour, so, I'm making sure that i got to come and cause the upset. As a trainer, is punch power important then? Because like you said, you're on his home show. Um, you're going to beat him, you could have to stop him. So is that something that you've been working on? Or I'm not going to say you weren't working on punch power anyway, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, we, we work on everything, you know what I mean? As a trainer, it's my job to cover all avenues, you know? And um, I think personally... Uh, Ryan's record doesn't reflect his true punching power, you know what I mean, in terms of the stoppages. Sometimes it's hard because the journeymen obviously are there to, to last, they're there to get the rounds, you know, and they don't come out and open themselves up, so they're hard to stop. But this is what's exciting about this fight here, because Lee McGregor's a game fighter, he's a hungry fighter. Personally, I like him as a fighter, he brings, uh, he brings an exciting style. So, we're going to see, I believe, Ryan's going to land punches, you know what I mean? So, we're going to see what his power is about. And I've, obviously, I've been in the camp with him. I've even sparred him a few times myself, and I've got 100% confidence in this man's power. And if he lands clean, good night. <laughs> it could be an early night. So yeah, man, I'm ready to go the distance, and I'm ready. If there's a stoppage, I'll take it. I'm not holding back on nothing. So yeah, I'm ready, man. Right. Well, thanks, boys. And this could be when you look at the card. This could be fighting like could be a show stealer. So you know, respect you both, and uh, let's have it. Thank yeah, you. Thanks, man. Thank so I'll see you on the fight. Now make sure you tuned in. Mm. Air Force TV, you're going to get keep updated on what's happening. And yeah, you'll see who's the winner. And yeah, man, you soon see Team Fizz. Come on, look out for me. Uh, follow me on social media at Team Fizz or my website, teamfizz.com, T E A M P H Y Z. And you're going to see a lot more of me. So keep Big locked in. Farming. So, time now, all the talk's done now. So, oh, we're on the cameras now. We made it. Come on, man. Look, <laughs> <laughs> look, you get, get used to the, get used to the name. The logo, and and the listen, logo. you're going to see that about one more. You're going to see it back everywhere. This is what you're going to see, the team fizz, so... Yeah, we coming, man. We coming from the top. Making big moves, man.